and welcome back to Pond Bank Farms. Glad you could make it. So, tonight I am milking the cows. Jake is gone. Dad's helping me He's getting cows ready. And uh, we're gonna, we're just starting here. And we're gonna circle around to the other side and uh, finish up. And we'll be done in about two hours or so. some extremely hot weather lately which is oh this by the way is a bungee cord we use to hold up the milker because it squawks it's one of those that squawks anyway we've been getting some extremely hot weather here lately yeah, it's great for the crops corn needs it we got over an inch of rain last night by the way and that is perfect for the crops but the cows aren't liking the warm weather as good as the crops are they're managing we got a lot of fans in here it's uh, reasonably cool considering how warm it is outside, but nevertheless, it, they're uh, struggling a little bit. So, it is what it is. It'll get cooler again soon, they'll be fine. This smoker here would be an example of one that's hanging a little bit tight. So we gotta just adjust this here. Well, we're a little over halfway done now. Well, we're finishing up milking here. Um, got it on the last cow. And then, uh, not sure what else I'm gonna get to tonight, if anything, but we'll see. We'll see where the night leads. Good morning. So, we got a small issue this morning. Um, actually, two issues. One, it, it rained last night, so that puts a damper on getting field work done. Um, we got an inch the night before, and we got more rain last night. I don't know how much. But, our second issue <clears throat> is this pump i think it's a pump is shot or blew a seal or something because when i was unloading yesterday randomly the conveyor stopped going around i initially thought it was plugged or something but everything looks pretty clean in there so i don't think that's the issue and upon further investigation there is hydraulic oil that was leaking out of here so i'm thinking that must be it so we're going to clean this up take it apart and see if it is the pump Okay, well, I got that sorted out with the mixer. Um, I'm still not sure what's wrong with it, so I guess I shouldn't say I have it sorted out, but it started working again. Um, we thought it maybe was the bearing then, but there's no bearing, it's just pushings in there, so I don't know why the conveyor wasn't going around. Anyway, right now I'm gonna work on, I'm just uh, boosting my car, the battery randomly, the car randomly decided not to start, so we're gonna boost the battery with the diesel here. And then when we get the car running, we're gonna park it closer over to the shop and put the, um, the battery charger on it. First car I ever owned right here. I had it up until I got married. Unfortunately, it's probably on its last legs, but we'll keep driving around until it falls apart, I guess, probably. Hey guys, so I'm trying to stir manure now. We're gonna try to haul a little bit tonight. I got a small problem, or maybe not that small. I can't um, shift my nozzle side to side on my pump. I'm not sure what's wrong, but I'm trying to just agitate it a little bit so we'll see if I can get it stirred up like this if not we're gonna have to pull out and see what's wrong if I can get it stirred up we can haul so hopefully we can haul because we want to get these uh, 35 acres covered and put oats in the ASAP so if we start off the night it'd be great if we can't who knows what parts we're gonna need what's gonna happen but um moving a little bit so we'll see I can still um rotate the nozzle so it's like two places I can shoot at and uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. If we look like at the wall you can see it's moving a little bit. Well we may have got it going around so that's good we can start hauling tonight. Let's 
go hook on to the manure spreader. Okay, we're just done hooking the baler, so we can throw the tractor on to the manure spreader. Okay, got the tractor hooked onto here. <laughs> The hardest thing for an air compressor system is condensation, so gotta let it out. Oh. That wasn't actually too bad. Okay, gotta wash my hands and then we can start. About two years ago when we built our heifer barn, we decided we're gonna build a huge yard that we're never gonna use all of it. Well, I don't know. Can you build them too big? Now, granted, we have a little bit of wasted space here, but still, crazy it's nice to have a yard you can turn wagons around and stuff in though so before that anytime you come in with anything more than two wagons you had to unhook them there's nowhere to turn around so it's uh, definitely nice first load of the night okay we are spreading can't really see much because the sun's shining in but it's coming out Okay, time to head back for another load. Um, I think I mentioned before, but we our plan is to put the oats in here and um, then take them off for green feed later on this fall. Um, you only get so much land, so you gotta make the most of what you got. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do here. Well, the corn's looking all right here, so uh, we're getting the heat, so that's good. I said it before, but I'll say it again. It's been a very, very good growing year. So even though we are gonna be using a no-till drill to drill in these oats, um, we are still gonna be disking it just because we're hauling manure and we wanna get the manure disked in. So as soon as we got the manure on, we're gonna be disking it and then be planting the oats and probably by then be doing a lot of other things as well, such as combining, but it's still too wet now to combine. Well, there goes Gare hauling some manure. I'm just unloading these wagons of straw. Got the two back ones unloaded. And it looks like Jake's finishing up mixing feed tonight. Okay, so I'm just getting the last of the straw bales in this field that we're hauling manure in tonight yet. Dad is um, on his way back here. He's hauling the last load. And then we're uh, quitting here for the night. And tomorrow morning I'll be at hauling manure first thing. Okay, well, good night folks. I'm going to bed. We will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, we're gonna haul manure again this morning here. And uh, Dad is taking our wheat in to get, um, we kept the wagon load out to get treated and cleaned. Uh, we're gonna use it for uh, seeds this fall. So he's taking a load of that in. When he gets back, I think he's gonna take over hauling manure and uh, free me up for uh, whether I start combining or something else. Not sure yet, we'll see where the day goes. So I had the battery charger on my car overnight. See how that's fared out here. Uh, it says full. Okay, that's good. Fire up the pump tractor. Let them warm up for a minute. Okay, so dad's coming out with the loader tractor and uh, right where the fence row was here there's some big stones we're gonna pick up right away and uh, before we get manure hauled on it we're just gonna pick up some of the bigger ones 
Okay, we got the stones picked and uh, just up the fence, old fence row there. There's quite a few. Got a half a bucket load or something. And we're gonna keep all manure now. Dad is gonna head off to take in the uh, wheat seed now. Okay, we got some help here now. Kobe, Hello. my nephew. He's uh, Jake's second oldest. Anyway, we're uh, hauling. We're still hauling. Well, Kobe, do you want to be a farmer when you grow up? So it took three spreader loads to make a strip down the field and go up the headland a little bit. So we're gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a few load to fill this field. And I'm leaving a bit of a path so we don't have to drive on the manure at the end here. Yeah, it should be fine to open it here. The spread pattern on this manure spreader, it's very much improved from the noon spread plate we had. It's a, a spread plate from a company called Gembrook and uh, it's very much improved. The um, other spread plate put so much on the outside and we could not get much in the middle and it was bad. Now this one, there's a little bit more gets to the inside than the outside, which I would prefer because we overlap a little bit and uh, oh there's like no comparison between the spread patterns now we can actually you know when you're done the field looks half even but before with the noon spread plate it was like tons on the outside and not much in the middle that's a probably a little bit of flaw with noon but some people don't seem to have a problem with the spread pattern so I don't know what if it's just an us thing or what but we got this uh, spread plate and it uh works pretty good for us. Looks like Jake's heading out to grab some baleage for the heifers. We're still hauling manure here. Dad's on his way home here and he'll be taking over for me shortly. And we're gonna go see if the wheat is gonna be ready to come by then. Uh, we got a field close by here we'll start with. And uh, it's dry enough anyway. Well, we're slowly working our way over. Got a far way to go yet. Okay, so it looks like the spring wheat is gonna go. So we're gonna head out and start that now. Let's go. Okay, so we are here. There's a lot of wild oats growing in this field, which shouldn't be a big deal for combining, but um, we'll have to get them sprayed. Maybe probably next year we'll put corn in here and get that looked after. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly get the head hooked on here. There we go. We are at it. Spring wheat 2024. Having a little bit of problems with the knife. With the belt slipping on the knife. I'm not sure if the belt's loose or what was happening, but it's working now, so I'm not sure. I'm randomly having problems with the knife just stopping to cut. I had this happen twice before and now it happened again. I know the belts pretty much wore out, but I never had this happen to me before. I could try tightening it up a bit maybe. The belt that runs the knife. But I've had this happen and I gotta pull this off. And I don't know why. There's some weeds in here, but it's not like I've never cut through weeds before. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try starting this. The wheat's looking pretty good. Guess we'll see how it runs. As you can see, this belt's wore out. However, it was running just fine last time, so I might just try tightening it up a bit here. I think I actually found the problem. This wire here, I don't know what it actually runs. Hopefully nothing important. Because it's wrapped around in here. So I gotta try to get this out. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. I bet you that was a problem. I'll tie this, tie this somewhere out of the way. Okay. Hopefully that's a problem, I guess. Okay, so it happened again. So, the last resort, I'm gonna try tightening the belt up. Hopefully that fixes it. If not, I'm almost out of options. Okay, let's try this, Colts. Hopefully this will work. Fingers crossed. Everything crossed. See? Folks, you guessed it. It happened again. I got Dad coming to pick me up. I'm gonna try and put some grease in. See if it's... That'll help. I uh, don't know at this point. Okay, we're on our way with the wagons now. And I got a grease gun here. Don't think that's a problem, but we'll get her figured out eventually. But uh, it's amazing how much faster and smoother things go when everything works. And something, something simple like this doesn't work. You can't figure out what's going on. It can eat out, can eat up a lot of time that you could be um, getting something done. So it's a little frustrating, but at the same time, you just uh, try not to think too much about it and just keep rolling. Okay, well, by the sounds of it, I've talked to some people and stuff, and it seems like the belt's just too wore out, maybe. Hopefully that's a problem. I got a new belt, them to set a new belt out at the dealership, so we're going to go grab that. Unfortunately, we won't get much done tonight by the time we get that done, but we should be able to at least get a wagon or two full filled yet, hopefully, if, if that's a problem. We hope that's a problem, I guess, but... It'd be really nice to be able to fill up at least two wagons tonight so I have something to take first thing in the morning. It's five o'clock already. Half an hour drive there, half an hour drive back. Looking at six, 6.30. By the time I get it fixed, I can probably come by until eight. So that only gives me an hour and a half. <sighs> well, if it works, I might be at least fill one wagon up. I guess we'll see. On my way to the dealership to pick up this belt now. So hopefully it's the right one and hopefully that's the problem. I did uh, take it off of the drive, take the PDO off the drive, and it spins very freely by hand. So our combine guy thinks it's probably the belt. So we'll put it on and see what happens. In other news, I'm working on something very exciting for you guys. And uh, it'll be coming out in a few months. It's a uh, parody of a song. I'll keep that a surprise for now. but. Uh, Stay tuned and I'll let you know closer to when it's coming out, but uh, pretty excited about that. Okay, should be here somewhere. Package is secured. Time to head home. We're at the field now. We're a little ahead of schedule, so that's a good thing. So I wouldn't it suck if I'd get the belt on and still have problems. So we're going to loosen this off and try getting the belt off. Okay, got this spring mostly loosened off. Oh yeah, easy as that. Hey, now what? I guess I should have thought of it, but I gotta run home and grab a socket set and I'll probably grab a wrench set just to be safe. Gotta take a shield off so I can get the old belt off and get the new belt on. I wasn't anticipating that. It's okay, I'm still ahead of schedule. New belt installed, gotta tighten her down yet, install the shields, hopefully it works better. Okay. Move the truck here, hopefully this will work now. 
Now, if this doesn't work, then I'm like really out of ideas. But either way, the belt had to get replaced because it was cracked and old. So even if it doesn't work, the belt still need to get replaced. But I sure hope that's what it was. I made it half around. It appears to be working now. But wow, are there a ton of um, oats in here, wild oats. My sample is very dirty. So I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna turn up my fan a bit. This is gonna be my last run of the night. Gonna head up there on a load in the wagons. Um, it's just getting too tough here. So we wanna quit before we plug up the combine. Um, definitely starting to get pretty slow going. Um, the wheat, I don't know, it's probably a bit too early to say, but I feel like it's not yielding as well as I was hoping. Um, a little too early to say, but I do suspect that the oats took a little bit of the nutrition from the, the um, wild oats took some of the nutrition from the um, wheat. So that's something we gotta get looked after. But we're getting a ton of straw, which is good. And the, the actual yield is not going to be um, too bad. It's not going to be horrible. Just not going to be as good as I had initially hoped. But this is our first year renting it, so it's how it goes sometimes um, when you're renting. Dusty. I think dad's truck's back here somewhere. So we are gonna find it and go home. So guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for tagging along and appreciate your support. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if that's something you wanna do. You can also hit the thumbs up or uh, share it to your friends if uh, you have friends that you think would enjoy this video. With all that being said, take care guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.